afternoon, everyone. Our Sometime After 4 News is brought to you by Hupeflex Radio Show and Cayman Live TV Channel 33. I am Aliyah Nelson. This week is the Rethink Camp at the Family Resource Center. Camp runs from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. each day this week, and camp is free. For more information, call 949-0006 or email frc at gov.ky. The National Youth Commission, in partnership with the Ministry of Community Affairs, Youth and Sports, announced the 12th round of the 6th round of the Proud of Them Recognition Award. They are our in-studio guests, Vanessa Williams and Cassinda McField, Tishan Crow, Ethan Whitaker, David Forbes, Derricka Naismith, Dira Hoyt, Felicia Connor, Giselle Ebanks, Bruce Young Fusion, Gordon, Chana, Connor and Youthflex very own Ayana Davis Eden. The Leo Club of Grand Cayman in partnership with the Lions Club is holding the very popular Miss Teen Cayman Islands pageant. The pageant is scheduled for August 27th. Some of the contestants will be on show today and we'll get more details about them later. Youthflex has partnered with the Public Library to bring you the word of the week which is resilience. R-E-S-I-L-I-E-N-C-E. It is a noun that means the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties or toughness. Now here is Ayana with some youth achievement highlights. From the youth achievement highlight file, here is this week's notables. Congratulations to all of the 60 plus campers of the Bodden Town football camp last week. Props to Maples for employing 40 plus college interns this summer. That includes several Proud of Them honorees like Diana Tibbetts and Haley Robinson. Props to 2016 I- IMAC Scholar graduates Chloe Tatum and Erica Powell. Chloe graduated from Penn State with a bachelor's in movement science, and Erica graduated with honors in early childhood education from Florida International University. Congratulations to the seven outstanding cast members of the CNCF summer intensive rendition of Pat- Patricia ben- Bentz, Isabel Jamo, and I got a chance to check out their performance, and our report is, wow, wonderful. It deserves a bigger stage and a bigger audience, fit for TV. And finally on the highlights, allow me to highlight Nicholas Ebanks on graduating with honors in information technology and a minor in e-marketing from Florida International University. To put items on the highlights, email the flex at james.miles at gov.ky or leave your comments on our websites. Our websites again are youthflexontumblr.com or facebook.com and search for Youthflex Radio Show. YouthFlex has partnered with the Public Library to bring you the word of the week, which is resilience. R-E-S-I-L-I-E-N-C-E. It is a noun that means the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties, toughness. That concludes our highlights this week. I'm Ayanna. And so we are still in studio with Miss Vanessa and Miss <laughs> Williams. Kishindo. Kish- 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 Kishindo. Kishindo, sorry. <laughs> And so, we're. What do I want, what do I want to say? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, what message would you want to leave with the listeners, people who are listening to you, or people who have seen your billboard? What message would you want to leave with them? I would say, um, like we were, I guess the theme was throughout today, and I guess the word of the day is um, to practice resilience. You know what I mm-hmm. mean? Never, um, definitely, never give up. Um, mm-hmm. Strive for your dreams. Just make sure you're what you're doing. You're passionate about. You really love. Don't do it because someone else thinks it's probably the better thing to do or whatever. Just be true to yourself and um, always persevere and just try to be the best you. I think. Yeah. Um, I can I second that with Miss Vanessa. Um, I would say. All age, all, all um, my message to all age groups around is to, as the word of the week, um, push harder and push, be more, be have have a lot confident in yourself and just be self more motivated and orientated to move forward and strive for the best regardless. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. So you're studying, Miss Cassinda. You're studying. Banking Bus- and finance. Banking and finance. Mm-hmm. And Miss Vanessa, you're studying business or accounts, sorry. Mm-hmm. I did my bachelor's in accounting and then my master's just in business administration. Is that what you guys 
like always knew you wanted to do or is it like before you went to college you figured oh okay this is what I want to go into where was the process like how do you figure out what you wanted to do like I can take it back really far like I really throw back my family makes fun of me now because when I was in preschool I said I want to be a policewoman (laughs) it didn't work out that way Uh, when I was actually in high school and throughout like my education I really had a a love for numbers like I prefer to do things that challenge my mind and allow me to um, think on my feet and kind of um, just try to figure things out mm-hmm. so that was mm-hmm. one thing that I knew I liked and then when I started um, doing accounting my first year in um, high school it challenged me it allowed me to explore different avenues and really um, exercise critical thinking so it's a quite a like a roundabout thing that kind of touches on all areas and like I continue to learn every single day and I'm challenged every single day, so I'm never really bored of what I'm doing. It's quite cool. I like it. That's good. Well, why I picked the business aspect, because especially in the finance and accounting um, avenue, I would say because I believe every entity or organization, non-profit or profit, needs a finance section, Mm -hmm. um, regardless if it's just one person or a group finance. It it requires some management of their spending, the revenue, the earning. Yeah. Um, And also, why I pick finance? Because Cayman Islands is well known for the finance sector, Mm -hmm. so I think that was a great um, choice. Yeah, that's a very smart choice because Mm -hmm. Cayman is known for banking and the finance area. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for coming on the Flex. Do you have any final comments or shout outs? Well, I would like to say thanks to the Proud of Them Committee, um, the National Youth Committee. Mm -hmm. um, Is it Commission? Commission, Commission. yeah. (laughs) Um, The Youth Flex for having me. all of my supporters, family members, uh, the custom department for my intern, judicial department for my intern, uh, Miss Deidre for nominating me, um, Andre Nevado Brown. Uh, can I list go on and on? But, <laughs> but uh, just thank to everybody for supporting me and believing in me. Yeah, yeah, I definitely agree. I'm um, a great, a big thank you to the Proud of Them Committee as well. Um, also, a big shout out to my dad who's listening right now, Noel Williams, for um, supporting me throughout this. Uh, he's a single dad, so just watching his work ethic and everything, I think, was a real motivator and a real pusher for me to strive mm-hmm. to always do my best and just aspire to be like him and maybe get some of those qualities rub off on me. And also <laughs> to my firm, um, PricewaterhouseCoopers, um, came on. Uh, they're very, very devoted to um, developing Caymanian talent like myself. They actually offered mm-hmm. me a scholarship and they allowed me to, actually they afforded me the opportunity to take my CPA exam. Like They covered everything. So big shout out to them. Um, an awesome firm. Not just saying it because I work there. They're really amazing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for coming on air. We'll be taking our fourth music break. Our next music break speaks to the fact that music is a very important part of life and that it sometimes takes soul to be resilient. Here is Phantom Mojo with Rasaman Got Soul. <laughs> 